What is good y'all man, happy Saturday. Just in the car and I'm making this video cause I'm getting ready to go run some errands real quick. But I just wanted to share with y'all something that, you know, was an accomplishment for me and something that I'm gonna build towards, you know, for the future. And also just stress about and talk about in this video is just like self love man and learning to love yourself and learning how to take yourself on dates, learning how to, you know, really spend time by yourself and really, you know, enjoy being by yourself at times. Now, if you're in a relationship, I still think at times you need to, you know, make time to enjoy what you want to do alone. Like you shouldn't be doing everything with your partner 24 seven. I feel like you should have time where you, you know, take yourself on on dates or go to a coffee shop by yourself or like get away from each other for a little bit and learn to spend time with yourself. Cause I feel like in my previous relationships, I just got away from that. You know, I was getting too codependent on that person and really was losing that self love and that self respect for myself yesterday. And I'll, get to the point why it's so important and like why i like was so proud of myself um i haven't been to the movies by myself since like before covid man so i used to go to the movies all the time by myself like all the time i used to work at a movie theater when i first moved to arizona um so i was getting free movies all the time so like after work i was to the movies like anytime i had a day off like i was to the movies like whatever movie dropped i was in there but i once covid hit i really stopped going the last movie that i saw by myself was uh damn what was that movie um like the photograph like that that love romance movie that came out like valentine's day like before like covid like hit and they shut everything down i think that was the last time so i think it was like february of 2020 was like the last time i went to the movies like alone so yesterday last night i was just like yo i really you know want to do something by myself like i really want to take myself on a date and really just enjoy being you know in my own presence i decided to go see that movie the plane plane whatever movie was about the plane like if you if you search it you'll know it comes up like it just came out last night and i decided to go see it i was gonna go see that movie megan but with me like with scary movies which i love like pg-13 scary movies are trash to me like they don't they're just corny so i didn't even waste my time going to see it i know it'll be probably streaming somewhere in like a week because it just looks like that type of movie so i decided to go see the plane like a real good action movie with a good plot and man that movie was crazy if you haven't seen it or you're thinking about seeing it go see it like that movie really had me just really had me just on like just alert like i didn't even there was no point in the movie where i was bored like every single part of that movie from the beginning to the end was like action-packed non-stop like you didn't know what was going to happen crazy movie because when i went to the movies like there was only like four people in there and i was just in like empty theater so it just kind of made it better like i was really had pretty much the whole theater to myself and you know it just felt good to you know be out be outside the house and go to the movies and really like take myself on a date and spend time with myself so I'm giving myself a round of applause for that, but it has a deeper meaning to it because like last week I decided that I was going to stop smoking weed and take a break from smoking weed. Before y'all say like, oh my God, he smokes weed. Like, yes, I smoke weed and you know, like I said, I'm not perfect, but you know, it was something I was doing mostly out of boredom, not out of like impulse. Like I work from home, so I chill at home all day. So like after a long day of just chilling and you know, really I can't leave the house cause you know, I'm working from home. I mean, I can go to different coffee shops and stuff like that, but I get most of my work done independently, like in my own space. So, you know, after I'm done with my work, you know, I smoke weed, you know, I was doing that mostly just out of boredom, not because like I really wanted to. And, you know, anytime I would go out or go you know somewhere where i was going to be interacting with a lot of people or just like being around a lot of people i would smoke weed to kind of combat that like social anxiety that i would get uh for what reason i do not know but you know it was just kind of just like man i'm i'm going out to eat oh, i'm gonna go smoke weed i'm going to the mall oh, i'm gonna go smoke weed real quick before i go like everything i was doing that involved me stepping out the house and like interacting potentially with people like, i would be smoking weed before I go. Don't get me wrong, like I'm not a crazy pothead. If y'all wanna like try to come at me for saying like I'm a pothead, like I was really, out of like a pre-roll joint, I would smoke like maybe like five to five to six hits and I'd be good. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't smoking the whole pre-roll in one day. Like it would take me, it would take me probably like two days to smoke one, one gram of a pre-roll. So like I really wasn't smoking crazy but like it was just getting to the point where like i was doing it more out of boredom and not for like a sort of a purpose you know what i mean like not that smoking weed has a purpose to it like it's more to relax you and calm me down but i had to really like be honest with myself and be like oh why every time i want to relax or want to be calm and you know 
be at peace, I gotta smoke weed. Why can't I just do this sober? And that was something that I was starting to really think about and really was like, okay, maybe I should stop smoking weed. So after this past last Sunday that we just had, like starting the whole week, I was like, yo, I'm not smoking weed. Like I'm not going to buy weed, I'm not doing nothing. Like once I was once it was gone, it was gone. Like I wasn't buying it anymore and you know, this whole week honestly hasn't even been that bad. Like I said, I was smoking weed out of boredom. So every time I would smoke weed, like I wouldn't really want to go do anything. Like I really wasn't motivated to get up and, you know, go do stuff and take myself out and really enjoy myself. Yeah, I would go out like for walks and stuff like that in the mornings and everything. But like at night, like I would just smoke weed and just go to bed. You know what I mean? Like I really wasn't trying to take myself out and enjoy myself wherever or whatever it is that I wanted to do. So like last night, Friday night, I was like, you know, I wasn't gonna smoke weed. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go to the movies, go get some food and just enjoy being by myself and enjoying having a good time. But I gave myself a round of applause for that because like I sat through that whole movie, you know, sober and I enjoyed it just as I would if I was smoking weed and went to the movies. And anybody who knows me, like I love watching movies high because it just makes everything better. You know what I mean? I used to think it makes everything better. Listening to music makes everything better, but like it's all about the mindset and what you do you know, when you're doing those things sober versus when you're doing them when you're smoking weed. And not that it's a big deal, like five days sober and I'm and I'm good, man, I'm living good. I feel good. I felt good even when I was smoking weed, but like now I feel better and it's just like taking it day by day. But just learning to love yourself and really appreciate, you know, being in your own presence is something that I'm really gonna work on and I'm gonna do it sober. Like I'm really gonna try and see how long I can go. I'm not saying that I'm gonna probably quit weed forever. I'm just being honest with y'all. Like it is something that I do enjoy doing. It's not something that, you know, I feel like I have a problem with. I feel like I can control whenever I wanna stop and whenever I wanna go back to doing it. I don't ever smoke weed when I'm going somewhere like, like I'm never gonna smoke weed if I'm on the clock at work. I'm never smoking weed before I go to the gym. Like I really only smoke weed if I don't have anything else to do. Like I make sure I get all my stuff done and then like to kind of reward myself for working hard, I'll smoke weed to relax, put on a movie, make some food and you know, chill. Now I really wanna keep challenging myself. Like I said, 2023, I'm really just trying to challenge myself to, you know, get out of my comfort zone. I feel like smoking weed and you know, doing these things and then not smoking weed and being able to do these things is getting out of my comfort zone. So honestly, like not smoking has just cleared my head so much more and it just makes me want to do so much more. This weekend, I'm really trying to just like take myself out, you know, have a good time out by myself, have a good time, you know, enjoying like I would if I was with a group of people. And I feel like I got away from that for so many years and I kind of want to just get back to that and get back to feeling really good about myself, like really being able to go out, like out to eat, by myself i ordered takeout last night and just like you know kind of chilled there it was it was like kind of like a takeout spot it really wasn't nothing like a restaurant but the next step for me is to like take myself out to an actual restaurant sit at the bar or sit at the table and really just like enjoy eating by myself that may sound depressing but like i ain't gonna be doing it every single week you know what i'm saying like i feel like every now and then you got to take yourself out on dates. You got to enjoy being, you know, loving yourself and being able to do stuff by yourself as you would if you were with a big group. So that's just something that I'm really going to focus on. It's just like loving myself. And I feel like if y'all watching this video and you're all having trouble with, you know, being able to go outside by yourself and really do stuff by yourself, like, yo, just do, do it. Like, I really want y'all to learn to love yourself like I'm trying to do, like really love myself the way God loves me, the way I'm trying to, you know, better myself for God and better myself for just me too, honestly. I just want to make that video to just kind of let y'all know as a reminder, like, yo, just love yourself, man, and just enjoy what you're doing alone. And you don't have to be high, you don't have to be drunk, you don't have to be with people to enjoy doing those things. And, you know, I'm going to start really like really, really push myself out of my comfort zone. And like the next thing I want to do is like take myself on a vacation. Like that's like the end goal. If I can take myself out on vacation for a weekend or a week or whatnot, and it be able to enjoy that, especially sober. Oh my God. Like that's going to be, you know, the biggest, the biggest accomplishment probably in my 27 years of life. If I'm able to do that, because it's something I've always talked about, but I never acted on. But, you know, something that I'm going to do and try to really push myself to get to that point. I'm going to take it day by day and really start small and work my way towards that. But by the end of 2023, I really want to take myself on vacation and really just enjoy being 
in my own presence in peace on a beach or something, man. I gotta do something. Every day's a journey for this, man, especially with, you know, not smoking weed. I don't know, like I said, I don't know how long I'm gonna go for it. I'm pretty much probably gonna go for a good amount of time just because like, I don't really, now I'm at a point like, I don't really need it. You know what I'm saying? Like once I get through the first day, it's pretty much easy after that just because I really wasn't that big of a pothead. I just wanna make this video to tell y'all, man, like love yourself, take yourself on on dates. Just enjoy being by yourself. If you are in a relationship, take that time, you know, on a Saturday morning, just like today, to like run errands and go to farmer's markets. Do something, you know, by yourself that you enjoy doing, like something that you're passionate about, hobbies, and, you know, just learn to really love yourself. So I wanted to just give y'all that for the weekend, man. I'm about to go run these errands. Make sure y'all subscribe. I mean, the subscribers is coming crazy now, like, just from dropping these videos like i appreciate y'all who subscribe appreciate y'all who are watching these videos man i can't even i can't even i'm just happy for what i got man and i'm just blessed for what i have and you know i'm never gonna take life for granted and take all this for granted because like i said it could be over at any point enough of all that sentimental stuff man i hope you all have a good weekend stay blessed let's get it Sounds